What's up guys? Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick little video of five things I love about my 2007 Ford Escape. So guys, the, um, the nothing on this list is in order of like top to bottom. Like it doesn't really matter to me. This is just a list I came up with. Um, but the first thing I have on my list is my Old Man Emu um, two inch lift kit. Um, it just comes with some lift springs, no big deal, but honestly, it's, it's lifted the whole car about two inches. Um, it made me be able to fit my 31s when they were full sized. Um, I love it. It gives the, the whole car a better ride, in my opinion. Uh, handles better off road, and I like the height adjustment too. Okay, so number two on my list is my factory sunroof. Um, I love this thing to death. Uh, during the winter months, I can't really use it that much, but I love it. It's, it's nice to just even have the glass just or the, the cover here slid back so you have extra light into the cabin. It, it gives the cabin a bigger feel. Um, personally, I just love it. The factory, or not the factory, but the roof basket I put on it, the Kurt roof basket, um, it just goes over the sun roof a little bit. But I can, I really just rest my hand. I go up and just grab this and rest my hand while driving. It's nice. Um, without the basket, it, I remember when I drove around without the basket, and it was it was perfect. I had it open all the time. I loved it. Uh, I still love it. But that's um, that's number two on my list. So number three on my list is just the whole look of the car. Um, I know this is not a stock option or anything like that, but like the way I've worked on this car over the past few years when I've had it. Um, and added to it and everything like that. The the wheels, the tires, the brush guard, the hood decal, the the Kurt roof basket. It all I think it all gives it a perfect look and it all comes together pretty dang well. Um, it really gives the off road look and I, I just absolutely love it. The only thing I wish I could change was I wish I could cut out the wheel wells a little bit more and fit bigger tires. Right, so number four on my list of uh, things I love about this car is the factory sound system and subwoofer. Um, I believe this XLT has the premium sound system when it, when it was made in that year. Uh, it had the premium option and honestly, I cannot be happier with it. In my opinion, I'm not a huge audio guy, so I don't know a lot about uh, good audio, but I haven't had any complaints with it. Um, the only thing I've really replaced with the audio system was just the head unit, which I had to do to connect my phone and everything. But the sub, the sub's nice. I really like the factory sub. Um, to me, it's it's just perfect because I would not ever put a giant sub box in a car. That's just not me. It takes up too much space. I just I don't see why you would do that. So the factory sub is just perfect. Um, gives it a good sound. I'll play a little sound clip. I really don't know how it's gonna transfer over to the mic, but I'll play a sound clip. <laughs> Okay, so there was a little audio clip. I really have no clue how that's gonna turn out with the mic. So uh, take my word for it if it turns out bad through the video, but the, the premium sound system is perfect. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Okay, so my number five thing on my list of things I love about my car is the exhaust I have uh, done. Originally, it is a Gibson Catback exhaust. It's like two, two and a quarter inch piping, I think, compared to the stock two inch. It's not that big of an upgrade, but um, I love it. It's perfect. Okay, well, I guess this, the Gibson system was a little too quiet for me, so I ended up taking off the Gibson muffler and replacing it with just a straight pipe. So the only things that are on the exhaust right now are just the catalytic converters from the headers and the uh, secondary cat underneath the car. Um, other than that, I think it sounds great. Um, it's just loud enough where you can really tell and you can hear it and you enjoy the sound of the car, but it's not obnoxiously loud where it, it hurts your ears. So um, that's number five. Here's an audio clip.
All right, so as you just heard, the uh, 3.0 sounds perfect. I love it. Um, it. Sounds pretty good. The revs I did, well, the first one was up to like, I want to say like 3,000 RPMs, and then the other ones were 4,000. Um, that's as far as the rev limiter goes in park. Sadly, automatic transmissions are great. Will be, um, but that, yeah, that's that's my. I, I'm gonna say that is my favorite part of this car is the exhaust. Um, just it's good. It's good.